have somewhat of a migraine today, so sorry if I sound a little bit low energy. So yes, getting our apprentice blood orb is easy enough. We just need to cook up this emerald. Mm. Cooked emerald. Sounds mineralicious. Uh. Okay, apprentice blood orb. Like I said, each blood orb will unlock a couple new recipes and will allow you to pack more blood energy into your network. So, for example, this weak blood orb, <clears throat> you see that on this alchemic chemistry set it has 10 recipes, whereas on the, the apprentices we have up to 16. And yes, it includes those 10 from the weak blood orb. The strongest orb can do everything the weak one can do and more. Anyway, um, what did we want this for? We wanted to make an air sigil, right? Yeah, I guess. Yes. Okay, air sigil. That is a bunch of feathers, a gas tier, and one of those slates. Okay, that's easy. Yes. Air sigil. I said air sigil. I guess that's... Uh... Yeah, shift-clicking orb recipes are always a problem because it cycles through them all. Okay, air sigil. To use this, I'm going to have to put a little bit of blood in our network. Give me a moment here. Just need to put this in there. You see it uh, slowly draining out. And you see the file over on the left there. Da -da -da. You should see it gradually, very, very slowly ticking up. I'm not sure, but I think it's runes of displacement, maybe, that force blood into the orb faster. Uh, dislocation, maybe. It's either dislocation or acceleration. I'm not sure. I need to look these all up. Anyway, that's probably enough for the moment. So the air sigil is kind of cheap-ass flight. It's not flight, but it's falling with style. You click it and whoom, whoom, whoom. You can, you, 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 yeah, it, it, it fooshes you up and forward. And if you mash it, it's actually a pretty fast way to get around. And uh, yes, it's resetting my fall damage each time. So if I hit it just before I hit the ground, then I wouldn't have taken damage. But yeah, I don't know. I, I, I have better ways of getting around. This is a bit too late in the game to really be useful. Let's put that weak blood orb away. It could be useful for some things. It looks like it doesn't do a thousand every time. That's weird. Oh, yeah. More speed routes. Great. Okay, so next it wants these imbued slates. That's a tier three. Um, that's easy enough. One thing to note, for the next tier of the altar, um, not only am I going to have to place down all the runes in their appropriate place, but you need these pillars with glowstone on top of them. Yes, that is just decorated glowstone I have there. And yes, that is necessary. Both the blocks, which can be any solid block, it can even be glass, and the glowstone. That is part of the structure that is actually needed. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a crap ton of those botanical runes, because they are easy sauce. Yeah. <laughs> My man is to the point that I just do things by the stack. Freaking awesome. Okay, there we go. Stack of botanical runes. And I think I am just going to use my wand of equal trade to make this very easy. So we just run over to our blood altar. And I should be able to dupe. And dupe. And 
Dupe. And dupe. And that should dupe it. I might as well start replacing the next line too. That's just down here. Zoop. 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 And zop. Now note that the altar is not tier 4. That's because these pillars here, uh, the redstone is just a placeholder. These pillars are going to need a block that I am going to have to get through certain special means that we might or might not be exploring shortly. I'll just put those away for now. I should put a void chest here. Okay. So next it wants these tier three slates. That's really easy. And, oh yeah, I have them all up there. So we just take one of these and I believe it's only a couple thousand units of blood. Yeah, it's 5,000. It's, oh, derp, 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 derp. Need to, I don't know, just, I guess just delete it. Yep, just delete it. Okay. Now, the things that we need to get these blocks so that we can upgrade the altar yet again are we are going to need to get something called bloodstone. And that is made with these weak blood shards. And to get those, we are going to need something special. Was it called blade? There it is. The Bound Blade. And for that, we are going to need an Elementium Sword. That's interesting. Normally it's just a Diamond Sword. But we are going to need to set up a Ritual. Blood Magic Rituals are kind of big, fancy multi-blocks. They're really cool, actually. Okay, we've got the Imbued Slate. That gives us... Runes of Acceleration? Okay, um... I guess I can put those down. Just a zoop. Not sure what they do, but hey, why not? Ah, okay. Yeah. To do rituals, I think we are going to need that Magician's Blood Orb because we need to make Ritual Stones and Master Ritual Stones. And let's see here, Archmage, Transparent, Eldritch, Tran Master, Magicians, and that's as low as it goes, yeah. So we need to make that Magician's Blood Orb in order to make all the Ritual Stones that we are going to need for, for, uh, for Rituals. So, that next tier of Blood Orb, I believe that is going to be a gold brick, but we are going to need a full 25,000 LP. So in other words, I'm either going to have to increase the altar's holding tank until it is big enough to handle that, or... I'm going to have to sacrifice my life continuously to power the blood infusion while it's happening. You know, I think this sword might not be doing a thousand. I think it might be doing only 500. That's false advertising. But still, it is better than the 200 that I was getting, so... Hmm. So, 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 so. Let's see, what does a rune of self-sacrifice cost? 
rune of base sacrifice, rune of self-sacrifice. That just costs some reinforced slates and some glowstone dust. That is really, really easy, actually. Yeah, so let's do that. Uh, what Ruins of Self-Sacrifice will do is they will increase the amount of blood each time that I sacrifice my life to it. And I believe they increase based on a percentage, but this is just from my memory, so, you know, don't trust it. A dupe. A dupe. A dupe. Yeah. Okay. And these will almost assuredly be replaced by something else. This is just a temporary measure while I am creating this rune, or this orb. But let's get a block of gold. I only have 1,800 of them, I think. Oh, it's so expensive. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, let's change out the runes. Let's just do it on this level. Doop. Oh. oh. Doop. 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 And doop. Okay, now I should get much more bang for my bloody bloody buck. So, if I put this gold block in here, you see it should very quickly start ticking down. And let's kind of try and guess how much blood I'm getting per poke. It looks like now I might be properly getting a thousand. A thousand-ish. Okay, get my regen going. Let's see if I can keep up with this. This is what I was talking about when I said that speed might be your enemy early on. When you are infusing something that is above your pay grade, then the speed of the infusion will also... If the blood runs out and it starts degrading, then the amount of speed runes will also affect how fast the blood will decay off the item. So too much speed with not enough capacity means bad news. But that was actually very easy. This, el this elven knife might be a little bit overpowered. But that is just fine by me. So, now that we have this magician's blood orb, we are kind of out of the early game of blood magic unofficially. We now have the means to start putting together rituals, in theory. But to really start putting together rituals, I'm going to want to make a ritual diviner. That is just a bunch of cheap-ass gems and these inscription tools. These inscription tools are made by infusing various ingredients with just a little bit of blood. So we're gonna need a gas tier, we're going to need a lapis block, we're going to need a chunk of obsidian, and we are going to need a magma cream. I don't think that is anything that is out of reach for us. Oh yeah, now that, now that um, it's not actually draining, let's see how much I'm getting with these runes of self-sacrifice. So it's one, 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 three, oh. Poke, one, two, it's about 900 blood that I'm getting with eight runes. So, if I'm right and the knife is giving me only 500 as a base, then each of these runes is giving me 50 more. That's not bad. So, technically speaking, these inscription tools are all we really need to do rituals. You see, rituals are a bunch of these ritual blocks that we're going to be making with a master ritual stone in the center. And the blocks are all arranged in a certain pattern. 
and they're painted with certain elemental inscriptions. And you can do that by hand. You can place out the entire ritual and you can draw all the inscriptions on with those tools. But that is really lame. And there is a really awesome thing to help you out. The Ritual Diviner. This thing, all I need to do is have it in my hand and I can shift right click with it and it goes through a bunch, it goes through all the rituals. And all I need to do is I need to put down a master ritual stone and have a bunch of ritual stones in my inventory. And I can right click with this thing and it will build the ritual for me with all the inscriptions. Yeah. It's freaking awesome. Ugh, I am dead today. Bunch of these imbued slates. Let's see, what are these imbued slates used for? It's used for uh, input spell cable and bloodstone. Imbued bloodstone? What? Blood arsenal. Oh, I guess that's a compacted block. Huh. Interesting. Ah, it's used for these things, which are used for some of the blood alchemy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you saw 15,000 to get the next hero slate, you're, you're going to tell that, and this thing only costs like 5,000. The cost went up by three times. Yeah. You can tell that at this point it kind of expects you to get better means of producing blood. So, what is it going to take to make those ritual stones? It's essentially going to take a bunch of tier 2 slates. It's going to take a bunch of obsidian. And, um, yeah. And then the Master Ritual Stone is just more of that. So, at this point, I need to make a crep ton of tier 2 slates. And for the most part, I think I can just leave that cooking. Like, I can, um... Let's see here. If I make a ton of botanical slates, these things cost 1500 per. And if I make some more augmented capacity, which should be fairly easy, it's just some buckets and an imbued slate. Yeah, if I put some more augmented capacity on there, I can set it up to make like 10 or 12 at a time. Let's make five of those. So augmented capacity is going to require three buckets and some smooth stone. Blood magic is a major consumer of smooth stone. You definitely want some sort of automated furnace setup by the time you get into it. Okay, augment my capacitor. And, I don't know, this one. 2,200 to 400. Okay, 2,400. That's pretty good. Yeah, I can I can cook these up easy, no problem. And is this set to the right filter? Yeah, it is. Okay. But yeah, you can see that I am going to need to make tons of those Tier 2 slates. I think that might be why the, the botanical and thaumaturgical slates make those cheaper, is to speed that up. All this cheaty stuff they put in the pack is making blood magic so much faster than I'm used to. Normally this initial grind takes frickin' hours. Okay, so while those botanical slates are cooking, let's make some of the stuff we're gonna need for our crystal growth chambers. So, for crystal growth... We are going to need... Oh, I, this is the charger I need first. Excuse me. For this charger, we are going to need one advanced and one elite control circuit. And that's really the only expensive part of that. So the elite is going to take, of course, two more advanced. And each of those advanced is going to take two basics. So I need two, four, six basics in total. Let's cook that up first. Okay. And then for the next tier, I need these iron chipsets. I need enriched alloy, and I need this enhanced circuit board, which I believe is the bronze tier one. Yes, and I almost have enough. Almost being the operative word. 
You remember forever ago when I made a billion stacks of bronze? We've almost run through it all now. I need some more redstone, of course. And you know what? Let's make some more bronze. Let us make some more bronze. So let's just make one, two, three of those. And where is tin, 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 tin. 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 I was looking for blue. I wasn't expecting the kind of... Yeah. Yep. Yeah, let us just make... One, da, 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 all the frickin' bronze forever. We need some more slates than that. If nothing else, doing this by botanical slates is saving me on making that living rock automation. Until later. Let's just make a stack. Okay, and I should, I think, be able to make 16 at a time with how much my altar holds. Let's do 15 just to be safe. Sometimes mistakes can happen. Okay, advanced control circuits. And then to upgrade that to Elite, I'm just going to need Gold, I'm going to need Refined, and I'm going to need that next tier of Alloy. Okay. I have been making Buku Golden Chipsets because I am going to need them to make all those Logic Processors. And it is time to put more things on there. How about we put on just another two stacks of these. Always want my lasers to be cooking now. There we go. Okay, so I need two of those. I need one of those, and I need one of these. I need more redstone. Yeah, see? There was exactly 1,500 left in there, so I was exactly right with my math. 16 is the number. Oh, and in case you were wondering, yes, you can kill yourself with blood sacrifice. And look at that. By putting 15 in, I get exact change. Oh. That's convenient. Yeah, no joke, I am going to need a couple stacks of those reinforced slates right now. This is kind of the grindy part. Okay, now this should be cooked. And now I can do this. And with that, I can do all that. So I just need two steel plates, two refined steel, and an osmium. Okay, and an osmium. Charger! Yes, our first applied energistics machine. Actually, do we have a quest for this yet? I'm doing this because I want it, but do we have a quest? The way the world works. Uh, yeah, I need to kill the weather again. The, um, I need to turn those in. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm bad with quests. I tend to leave them and I don't turn them in. Oh uh, yeah, the Eldritch Dimension, we need to explore that at some point. Oh, more nodes. Yeah. Anyway, mm, enhances would be where it is, I think. No, it's looking like... It's looking like I don't have the quest for it unlocked yet. But I desperately want Applied Energistics anyway, and I'm sure these will be on the quest line sooner or later. So, let's do this. Now. The charger, let's kind of make applied energistics happen. Well, I think I'm going to want my own dedicated building for applied energistics sooner or later. So I guess let's just put this near the metallurgic infuser line. Yeah. Yeah. Charger! It needs a facade. That's better. Okay, enough faffing around. 
The Charger will take a piece of Surtis Quartz, and it will take a little bit of energy, and it will gradually turn it into... Come on, it usually only takes a second. Charge Surtis Quartz. Yeah, shocking, all that, blah. Could have sworn AE2 was in the library for Thomcraft. Anyway, we need charged service in order to make Fluix. So let's make a really quick and easy automation for this charger. All you need to do is take a hopper on one end, and you put the service quartz in there. You see it's loading all up in there. Mm, that time it was instant. What's this chest doing here? And we program that with the charged service. And we put a mechanism pipe on that. Eh, leak will do. Don't need ultimate for this. And because mechanism will only put into a valid destination, it'll only draw out the charge stuff. So now we put regular Certus in the hopper and we get charged Certus out of the drawer. Very simple and easy little machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that is sitting there cooking. And let's seedify the rest of our dust. Okay. And I think I'll actually put those seeds away for now. Just put those away in a special place. Okay, so now we've got charged Certus cooking. Once we have a stack or two of that, I can make our first Fluix. And with that, I can start making the Crystal Growth Chambers. Our Blood Magic Slates are probably ready to cycle again. And, uh, yeah... In case you're wondering, yes, I am working on the path to no longer having to poke myself all the time. Pretty soon the blood altar will be in a state where I can more or less just put in stacks of things and leave it. Okay, so now that's cooking, and my service is cooking, and I kind of have nothing to do. So, why don't we do something fun, just to pass the time? Let us do something interesting. Um, I could kill the Ender Dragon. I think that's a quest, and I need to get some Ender Air anyway for something else. So, yeah, let's kill the Ender Dragon. That should be fun. To get to the end, all you need to do is make this end portal placer. Okay, so let's find a nice little plateau. About right here. Sure. Oh, well, placed it at my feet. Okay. <laughs> doop, doop, doop. And portal. Okay. Do I need any preparation for this? Uh... Nah, I think I'm good to go. I'll just take this up. That's an idea. Oh, Underground? Lame. That's no fun. I wanted to take off right away. Ooh. Okay, okay. So where is that dragon at? Have at you, Kerr. I challenge you to a round of Quidditch. No. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay, I guess I need to range attack against these things. All these clouds kind of make this lame. <laughs> I need freedom of motion, damn it. This thing turns wide. Oh, I should have made some brews or maybe gotten an owl familiar. That's something we need to do. We need to get a familiar. We need to advance more in witchery. Learning witchery was part of my drive for picking up this pack, after all. Ha! <laughs> you can't catch me! I'm too fast! Doof. Damn it. Yeah. Thankfully, that did not actually kill my broom. It just dismounted me from it. That's better. Aha! Your healing is undone. Now we fight like a man. And a dragon. Manon. Dramon. Oh, this thing turns too slow. Jousting it is! Oh, come on. Come back here. You come back here, sir. Okay, I guess I have to let him charge me. There we are. <laughs> oh. Come on. Drive me closer, I want to hit him with my sword! Okay, I think that's all the healing crystals. So even if this takes a while, I will be victorious. I don't think he can actually hurt me. Except by dismounting me into the void. Okay, come on. Ah! Yeah, come back here. Aha! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Have at you. Got you. <laughs> I am the master of the skies, dragon. You may be the master of the void, but I am the lord of this domain. <laughs> oh. I think I might be actually faster than him. I just can't turn as fast. Gotcha! Gotcha! Yeah! <laughs> Definitely should have made a brew of soaring, or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. Come on! Gotcha! Nope, I think he's slightly faster than me after all. But it does not matter, for he always charges. His pride shall be his undoing. For jousting is the sport of men! Okay, I'm getting kind of bored now. Let's just kill him. You know what? I think this might be easier just on the ground. Yeah. Well, it was a fun idea. But sadly, that's all it was. Where'd the broom go? Where did the broom go? There did the broom go. Okay, yep, yep. I, I approved my mastery of the air over you. I'm done. 
Come at me, bro. Would you stop fapping around up there? There are no crystals. I don't know what you're searching for. So yeah, if you want to try this on your own, make yourself a broom soaring and get an owl familiar. Because the broom is just too janky otherwise. Hell, it might still be too janky. I haven't tried either of those things yet. Gotcha! The Ender Dragon is not actually all that hard of a fight. I I think he literally actually did not even hurt me. Like, he hit me a couple times, but I don't think he did enough damage to get through my armor. And if he did, it was instantly regened. Okay. I didn't bring a piston for the egg, so let's just do this the old-fashioned way. Zoops. Then I need to find it. It souped. Where did it go? <laughs> the sparkles misled me. Like they always do. Okay, just build a micro block down there and let it fall. There we go. Dragon egg. And I actually have a use for this thing. This is a pretty good source of witchery power for the altar. Not that I particularly need it, but I mean... Hmm. Okay, yeah. That's, I guess. Oh, by the way, I've noticed that sometimes when I go through end portals, I, like, lose a ton of levels. Does anyone else get that? Hmm. Hey, there were crystals. What do you know? Okay, double check. Uh, yep, I got my broom on me. And did I scan the... Oh, and hey, Bedrock. I don't think I scanned Bedrock. And I bet those end crystals are scannable, too. Yep. Okay, let's go on. Yeah, 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 the end. Yeah, look at that. I was like level 79 before. And now I'm down to 40. And Soul Frey, like I died. Yeah, Soul Frey is something that happens if you die. It, um, it temporarily reduces the amount of blood that you get from sacrifice. Oh dear, texture problems. So yeah, the end portal kills you. It just lets you keep your inventory in most of your levels. Ugh. Oh shoot, I forgot to get the Ender Error. Ugh. Oh well. It's it was a quest in here. Yeah, yeah. Kill the dragon. Oh, and it gives me another one of these cute scrolls. Gives me a cute scroll for <laughs> little blue dragon. I think I might keep you for a while. You do not want to know how I met you. And, uh, yeah. And if you ask, I am totally your biological dad. You are not adopted. 
And I did not, in fact, turn your father into sushi. Okay. So, the Dargan Egg. I usually see people put it on their altar, and I'm not sure why. I don't think it does anything on the altar. Let's see here. Times six. Yeah. Well, it's not updating yet. There it goes. Yeah, see, it's a bunch of points, but I don't think it actually does anything. No, oh, well, it's fairly showy up there. How did you slip your leash, Jimmy? Jimmy, you did not earn bathroom privileges. Get back on the post. I need to make him a proper play then. Oh, and a, a different companion title scroll? Oh, okay. And... Um, one of those. Very nice. Very nice. Resistance to... Okay, let's see what let's see what this one does. Uh, Navi fairy, I think I'll stick with the dragon. Thank you. Wait, mother of dragons. Um, I think I will take the. Um, I, I think I'll I'll take the missing link instead. Yeah, that's a, that's a better title for me. No offense, but I mean, it's just not my thing. So these yellow hearts that I got from the Ender Dragon, I can turn them green, but more importantly, I can use them with one of these red heart canisters to make a yellow heart canister. And actually, with that red heart canister that I got and the four hearts that I have, yeah, I can do that. Okay. Those, 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 those. Those, those. And those. Neat. That's half the yellow hearts I'll need. <laughs> well, it's like a quarter of the yellow hearts I'll need, because I'll need ten more... I'll need nine more for the green hearts. And the, let's just claim all the quests while we're here. So those uncommon treasures and some nodes, some more void seeds and some eldritch eyes, more uncommon treasure and some alimentum. Uh, alimentum is just fuel that makes the purple sludge in the alchemical furnace break down faster and it lasts a super long time. It'd be a bit silly if those scanned, I guess. These Eldritch Eyes will be useful in a ritual we can do later. And, of course, those nodes you've seen before. So, let's open up the Trazier. Oh, Ring of Protection, Runic Shielding. Runic shielding is kind of interesting. Actually, I can make good use of it with my mana wand. Yeah. Runic shielding eats a little bit of wand, a little bit of V out of your wand to give you essentially extra hearts that tick down before any others. And runic shielding, you can make a bunch of accessories that have it on it natively. Or it can be put on armor as an enchantment. Eh, let's just throw the rest of it out. Except for the Knowledge Fragment. Knowledge Fragment is mildly useful. Uh, by the way, just by default, if you have nine Knowledge Fragments, you get these research notes. They can be to things you haven't even unlocked yet. But you still have to do the research minigame for them. So you can't just... Eh. I need to put away these Batania flasks. I don't think that I'm using them anymore. Yeah, you see how my health bar is now all shimmery? That means that I have runic protection on me. And 
it only requires V to fill it up. So if I take damage, a little bit of V will be drained out of my wand. But until then, it won't be a constant drain. So it's not like I'm wasting mana on this. Okay, I am just going to continue creating more slates for a little while. I'll get back to you when I have enough to start up a ritual. Oh, come on. Ugh. Okay, now this is a really cool piece of kit. These lava crystals, I'm going to want for a whole bunch of stuff. They basically link up to you, just like blood orbs and sigils. You see, I right-clicked it, and now it's current owner, me. And you can put them in any sort of thing that does smelting. Like, you can put them in a furnace. You can put them in an alchemical furnace, like so. And they will use a little bit of blood to make a very short single item smelt. I think it's something like 50 LP per smelt. I'm not sure. I need to look it up. Anyway, I put a whole bunch of blood in my network so this would last for frickin' ever. Actually, I wonder. Does this go in... Hold on, I, I, we are going to do some science real quick. Okay, let's just disconnect the tube right here. Let's take out all those and let's put in that. It does! <laughs> Oh, that would be so funny. <laughs> I could power my industry on blood. <laughs> uh, I, I might do that if I wanted to just make masses of steam engines, actually. But, no, 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 no. Did that take a noticeable amount of blood to do? No, not really. Of course, the amount of blood I have on my network now is frickin' immense, because I'm storing it in the Magician's Orb now. I have something like 100,000 blood in the network, I think. Okay. Anyway, the reason I made that is I need it to dupe into there. Oh, and by the way, the Thaumaturge's Razor, it seems to still have that proper 2,000 base, so... I get frickin' huge amounts of blood for those two hearts. I'm not actually sure what happened to my elven knife. It just kind of went somewhere. What? I saw it. Did it not? Okay, I guess that's a little bit of wasted blood. Oh, it was the Thaumaturge's razor that gave particles. Derp. derp a derp Yeah, it just drinks it all down, and we get this weak activation crystal, and like most other blood magic things, you need to click bind it. Most blood magic things, you need to right-click to bind it to you. Try it with everything that links to the blood network. So, I have a bunch of ritual stones, I have a master ritual stone, and I am going to go and get an elementium sword. Which I believe uses dream wood, like so, and like so, and like so, and like so. There we go, Elementium Sword. So, blood rituals. We are going to be setting up a ritual of a binding. Veil of Evil, Requiem, da, 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 Convocation of the Dam, Blood of the New Moon, Midas Touch, Enchantress, Great Deletion, Timberman. These are some new rituals I've never seen before. Ritual of the Blood River? Huh. Green Grove. Green Grove is a good ritual. 
Uh, containment binding. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like. I wish it brought up a menu instead of making you scroll through. Anyway, let's just go and set this up a little bit of ways. Uh, right, well, not too distant. Right over here. Okay, and doop. Doop, 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 doop. Doop. Why are you not duping? I guess it needs flat ground all around. There it goes. Okay, that looks sufficient. So, I believe, I forget how it goes actually. Do you throw the weapon then activate it or do you activate then throw the weapon? Let's try and dip and dip. Oof, oof. Yep, blood rituals tend to, uh, they tend to be a little bit um, exciting. I saw it, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Did it go into a fire? Son of a bitch, did that blade go straight into a fire? Oh my god, that blade went straight into a fire, didn't it? <sighs> Get another Elementium sword.